All right, so we're gonna go over capnography and the different uh, delivery devices. So uh, my little buddy Mason here is gonna help us out. Let me open this up. In this particular system, we carry the capno lines over on this side of the monitor. The capno lines are very easily identifiable by these orange connectors because you have to have those connectors to plug into the monitor. There's two different uh, delivery devices. There's, or cap, cap, capnography devices. This is a delivery device. It's actually a um, nasal cannula with the capno line on it. So you can place a patient, if you need to place them on oxygen, you can place them on oxygen at low flow oxygen and also connect the capno line as well. So here's your capno line. It's identifiable because it looks just like a nasal cannula, but it has this area here, which is what catches the carbon dioxide and measures it. It pulls it into the cannula and then measures it at the machine. So there's your cannula. You have your regular oxygen delivery connector. And then you have your CO2 connection device and a filter. So to connect this, Mason, if you'll help us by turning that on, you turn your monitor on. This is a LifePak 15 and in this one in particular, it connects under here. You flip up this, the flap, this enters. And if you look real close, you can see it's threaded. So once you get it in, you twist it, should just twist it a couple of times and it gets good and snug. And then at that point, it starts to measure and your monitor here will have the carbon dioxide. You'll have your number here and then generally you're going to have the capnograph right here that's going to show you their respirations. So in this case, we're going to put it on Mason. Okay, let me come over here, buddy. All right, go stick that in. Go up around his... Wait, that's how far you put it in? Yeah, that's all we got to do, just right there. Okay? And just sit there and breathe normal. We can hook it up to oxygen if we need to, or uh, if we need a higher flow oxygen, we can absolutely do that as well. In this case, if we need to apply high flow oxygen, we can take our normal breather, inflate it. It can be placed directly over the capnography line and it will still read like it should. Also, if you want to apply uh, CPAP, you can also uh, put uh, CPAP on over top of your uh, delivery device as well. So here we have the endotracheal tube. Uh, this connects to a bag valve mask. It'll connect to any of the airway devices, whether it's a, a King airway or a, an iGel endotracheal tube, any of those. This needs to be placed in line and hooked up to the monitor. That is mandatory for any airway uh, interventions. It, it is the absolute best way to confirm that your tube is in the right place. So same principle, this connects between the bag valve mask and the patient or the bag valve mask and the, it, the airway device and then connect it to your monitor. Remember your, the numbers that we remember are 35 to 45. That's what we're shooting for with our uh, carbon dioxide uh, that lets us know that we're in, in the right place and the patient is doing well if their numbers are between 35 and 45.